Hey folks, hello and welcome to the Divi Machine video documentation. My name is Roby and today I'm going to be showing you how you're going to be adding or building a post from one of the custom post types we created in one of the earlier videos. You'll find other great Divi Machine resources on our documentation site at help.diviengine.com, which will also be linked in the description of this video. If you get stuck with more complex challenges, definitely feel free to reach out to our amazing support team and they'll help you find a solution. Also, now before we get started, let's make sure that we are updated to the latest versions of Divi Machine, the Divi theme, and WordPress. All right, so now that you've got that all sorted out, let's jump right into it. Okay, so in the previous steps, we went ahead and we set up our cars custom post type. Now we want to keep our dynamic Divi website fresh with a bunch of content in there and we need to start adding some cars to the website so that it's a full listing site. We're going to start off here on the left hand side by going to the post type cars that we made in the previous steps and we've already got a bunch of custom fields assigned to it and we're going to be populating those right now. So when I click on cars here, it's going to give me the option of adding a new post. I'll click that button and on the next page here, we're faced with the option to give it a name. We can assign a description, assign it to a category, give it a preview image, we're going to select the make, add the price, and then the images for the image gallery. We need to select the gearbox type. Okay, let's select the year now. And then put in the mileage. After finishing, I click the publish button here. And now when I look at the category page. Okay, so here we can see the car listed. It's not looking fantastic yet. Um, we're gonna make that a little bit more attractive in some of the next steps. And we'll be using some of Divi Machine's custom modules to really make this page pop and our listings look fantastic. Now, we also need to keep in mind that you will need to create more post types, custom fields, and posts just like I've done so far to fill out your dynamic Divi website. And that is it, folks. That was a nice quick one here on the Divi Machine documentation. I really hope that this video helped you out better understand how to build a post or add a post to your dynamic Divi website. And again, if this video did not cover what you were looking for, definitely check out our documentation at help.diviengine.com for more text and videos that will help you master Divi Machine. As always, definitely contact our incredible support team with more complex challenges that might come up and they will do their best to help you out. With that, this is Roby from the Divi Engine team. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.